Now I thought today I would do a quick video on how to make an apple puree, which is like an apple sauce that goes perfectly with your roasted pork. So make some of this up and it's just a beautiful little compliment that you can have with your Christmas dinner or whenever you're cooking your roasted pork. So for making up this apple sauce, this puree, now what I'm gonna do is go through the ingredients I'm gonna use. Now I've got a couple of different apples here. These are cooking apples, they're not yet edible eating apples, you need to sweeten them up. Now I've got one large Bramley apple and I've got two slightly smaller Cox apples. Now, once you've peeled them, chopped them down, they're gonna go in the pan and you know you cook them into like a puree. Now I've also got half of an onion, so cut the onion in half, chop it up nice and fine, and we're gonna add a little bit of butter. So that's all gonna be in the pan. And I'm gonna flavor it up with a little bit of fresh ginger. So what you wanna do is just peel the ginger and then grate it, and that's gonna really lift the flavor. I would say you want to end up with about one teaspoon, that's a small spoon, of freshly grated ginger. Now also, to add a little bit of flavour, I'm going to add three tablespoons, that's the big spoon, of dry cider. And we're going to season it, a little bit of salt, and then as I say, you do need to sweeten you know, this mixture because of the apples here, a little bit sour. So you want to add about 25 grams of caster sugar. If you haven't got caster sugar, obviously you could use granulated sugar. So nice, simple ingredients, but as I say, it really does make something nice and simple and delicious to go with your roasted pork. So what I'm gonna do is get it all prepared. We're gonna go over to the hob, get on with the cooking. So I've come over to the hob, I've got it all prepared. So let's get on with the cooking. Now I've got a pan there with a lid and what we're going to do is start by melting the butter. Right, the butter's just about melted, so just popping in the onions. Fairly finely chopped. Just move them around a little bit in the butter, and that'll just give a really nice base for this apple puree this sauce. So what I would say is cook them fairly low heat, five minutes, could even be 10 minutes, until they soften down, and then what we're gonna do is put the, uh, put the apples in. Now with the onions, I've had mine cooking in the end on a low heat for about 10 minutes, and they've nicely softened down. So don't try and brown them, we're not trying to brown them, we're just trying to soften them down. Now what we can do is we're gonna put the apple in, but also, I think it's a good time to put that ginger in. Again, just get that all mixed up in the flavors with the butter. Lovely. And then we can just go in with all the apple. Like that. Now also, we're gonna need to season this, so just put a little bit of salt in there. And then we've obviously got the caster sugar, and I'm gonna put in the cider. That's it. That one, two, about three tablespoons. That's the big spoon, as I say. You know, it's a rough measurement. Just need a little bit of liquid in there. But uh, that'll add a little bit of flavor as well. Now what I'm gonna do is just give it a quick mix around and then I'm gonna pop a lid on and we're gonna leave that simmering away. Give it the occasional stir, I would say for about 20 minutes. So keep an eye on it, give it a stir, and we'll come back in about 20 minutes and have a look. Now I've had the apples cooking down for just coming up to 20 minutes, and look at that, that's all softened down, looking good. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna switch that off the heat, and what I'm gonna do is turn it into like a puree. So I'm gonna use my electric sort of whisk, just that you, you know, you'd use for making soups and things like that, and just gonna blend it all up, so it's nice and smooth and we get everything you know, together. And then you can just put it in a little pot and then it's ready to serve up. Obviously do give it a taste just to make sure that it's all nicely balanced with the sugar and things. But let me whisk that up and make it all nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna, gonna do, do that. that. Better switch the power on, always helps. There you go. Just scrape that bits off there. Lovely. And that is done. So 
let's take it over to the table. And obviously, you know, if you've got your roast pork to serve up, serve it up with that. You can obviously keep it in the fridge if you're gonna use it the next day or even a day after or whatever. But I'm gonna just take it over to the table, put it in a bowl or something, and we're just gonna try some to make sure it's nice. Now I've got my apple puree, the sauce, in that bowl there, I've tipped it all in there, and I'm just gonna taste that. Now I know this is gonna be good because I've made this many, many times before. So let's just try some of that and see how it is. Hmm. Absolutely lovely. And this is really nice warm or cold. And it is so, it works so, so well with your roasted pork. And you know, it keeps in the fridge for a while. So go and make it, you can make it one day. And when you're cooking up your roast dinner or Christmas dinner the next day, you know, just serve it up and it's absolutely delicious. Now I am gonna be cooking a nice piece of roasted pork loin and I am gonna serve this up later on when I've cooked it all up. So go and check that video out because it's gonna be absolutely delicious. I mean, this is actually a really nice flavored apple sauce because obviously you've got the right balance of sweetness, but you get that ginger as well and it just works so well. So give it a go. I hope you enjoy my videos and happy Christmas to everyone and I'll see you on the next one. The original Naked Chef.